In this training illustration, we'll review the proper procedure for seeding races up to and including 400 meters and how competitors advance to the next round. For more information, please consult the appropriate rulebook, a registered National Federation, USA Track and Field, or IAAF Certified Official, or IAAF Publication The Referee 2012 Edition. This competition is taking place on an eight-lane facility and is being conducted under IAAF rules. The first round of the 400 meters has been completed and we have the results of the four heats. The formula for advancement to the semifinals is to take the top three finishers from each heat plus the next four fastest times. Using the advancement rules and formula, we'll first identify those who have qualified for the two semifinal heats. We note the top three with a large Q as the automatic qualifiers. We next note the qualifiers on time with a small Q. In all, we've selected 16 competitors for the semifinals. Our next step is to rank each of the competitors by their places in each heat and then by their time. We group together all of the heat winners, second place finishers, third place finishers, and time qualifiers. Next, we rank the competitors by time within their grouping. As we can see, there may be occasions when a second or third place time from one heat may be faster than a first place time in another heat. It's important to remember that we weigh place over time. Once we have the ranking list completed, we next assign each competitor to a semifinal heat. We use a serpentine method to assign competitors to heats, but not to lanes. The fastest qualifier is assigned to semifinal heat 1, the next fastest to semifinal heat 2, the third fastest is also assigned to semifinal heat 2, and so on. We can see the heat assignments for each competitor. Once the competitors have been assigned to a heat, they are next assigned to lane groups. The fastest four qualifiers in each semifinal will compete in the preferred lanes, in this case 3, 4, 5, and 6. The fifth and sixth fastest will compete in lanes 7 and 8, and the final two qualifiers will be in lanes 1 and 2. We now have the competitors assigned to their heats and have them grouped into preferred lanes. Under competition rules of the NCAA, USA Track and Field, and the IAAF, the competitors are now randomly assigned to lanes within their lane groups. We'll begin with the inner four lanes. A note about National Federation procedures. The same process of weighing place over time and ranking the competitors remains the same, but lane assignments may be different. Referring to Rule 5, 6, 6, the fastest two competitors are assigned to the middle two lanes or the preferred two lanes as determined by the Games Committee. The next two fastest are assigned to the adjacent lanes, and so on. We can see that the lane assignments have been drawn by lot and the competitors assigned. Next, we conduct a random draw for lanes 7 and 8. Finally, we conduct a random draw for lanes 1 and 2. Here we see the full lane assignments for each heat. At the conclusion of the semifinals, we would repeat the same process for determining the finalists and placing them in lanes. The Games Committee will determine the formula for advancement to the final. 